The road to the silver screen isn't always clean. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that broke the law. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, 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 ah. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the films who broke the law either during production or after it. You ever talk to bullfrogs in the middle of the night? Not generally. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. No, I mean. Number 10. Filming Without a Permit. The Terminator. I'm a friend of Sierra Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see her, please? No. The original Terminator film did not have the budget its later entries would have. Because of how limited their funds were, the crew forewent certain expenses, like neglecting to pay for permits to film on Los Angeles streets, which is why so much of it takes place at night. They were so pressed, in fact, that they didn't even stop when pesticides were being sprayed over the city, which is what the fog actually is in some shots. This bit of penny-pinching most certainly put those on set in danger of exposure to toxic chemicals. Nice night for a walk, eh? Number 9. Misrepresenting Their Message the Bridge. This documentary film chronicles the Golden Gate Bridge, with emphasis on those who commit suicide by jumping off of it every year. When asking for permission to film it, the crew misrepresented their focus, as they feared if word of their intentions got out that it would lead people to kill themselves to be on film. As it turns out, the movie had this effect anyway, since the number of deaths on the bridge increased after the movie began showing. Lastly, given that some of the jumps are shown, it may qualify as a snuff film which is considered obscenity in many places. I don't know why people kill themselves. And yet, it's a small step to empathize, to say, uh, uh, because I think we all experience moments of despair. Number 8. Illegal Use of Autopsy Footage – Men Behind the Sun A harrowing and graphic depiction of the cruelties of war crimes, Men Behind the Sun has drawn criticism for the levels of violence that approach exploitative levels. However, its true crimes, while not as severe as those it depicts, are still serious. At one point, real autopsy footage of a young boy is shown, while elsewhere a group of live rats were set on fire, and another swarm of rodents appeared to eat a cat alive. In the latter case, the director claimed that the cat was actually covered in honey, which was licked by the rats, which is still cruel. Come on now, and don't feel discouraged. You keep up the good work, and report to me at once when the experiments are completed. Yes, sir. Number 7. Trespassing and Filming Without Permission – Escape from Tomorrow Wow, it's a giant testicle. Disney is notoriously touchy about people using their properties without permission, but they're willing to bend sometimes if the depiction is positive. That's not really the case with Escape from Tomorrow, a surprisingly violent and surreal movie filmed without permission at Walt Disney World. The strange film proved a surprise cult hit at festivals, and although its cinematography is necessarily pretty poor, it's still amazing the filmmakers shot as much as they did on location. Even more surprising, though, is the fact that Disney did not pursue any legal action, though they probably didn't want to draw too much attention to it. Okay, better get going. Number 6. Extreme Method Acting – Easy Rider No, man. This is grass. You, you mean marijuana? Yeah. Lord have mercy, is that what that is? Made during the height of the 1960s counterculture, Easy Rider was a film that helped embody the movement, with its emphasis on freedom and its copious drug use. However, the drug use wasn't simulated, as the drugs used on camera were real, and the drug use happened copiously among the cast and crew off the camera as well, all of which was highly illegal at the time. Director slash star Dennis Hopper also allegedly threatened actor Rip Torn with a knife, only to be successfully sued for defamation 30 years later after implying Torn had pulled the knife, while Hopper was reminiscing about the production with Jay Leno. I mean, you go for the big money, man, and then you're free. You dig? <laughs> Number 5. Imprisonment. This is not a film. Yeah. In this case, the film was the crime. Filmmaker Jafar Panahi was banned from making films by the Iranian government after filming the violence which took place after the controversial 2009 election and was placed under house arrest. In protest to his imprisonment, Panahi broke his ban to document his imprisonment, 
He then smuggled the documentary titled This Is Not A Film out of the country on a flash drive to be shown at the Cannes Film Festival. While Panahi was not given additional charges, his ban was upheld and he was made unable to leave Iran. <laughs> Number four, animal mistreatment, Heaven's Gate. You're not my class, Kim. You never will be. You'd have to die first and be born again. Plenty of movies over the years have abused, killed, and mistreated animals. Films like Cannibal Holocaust, for example. But perhaps more shocking is a film like Heaven's Gate, which features dozens of assumed examples of violence against and mistreatment of animals. These include bleeding and disemboweling animals to provide realistic gore for actors, genuine cockfights, decapitated chickens, and even a horse being blown up with dynamite, which can be seen in the movie. Public outcry was so great that Heaven's Gate was essentially the cause for the now common disclaimer that no animals were harmed during the filming of movies. Number 3. Kidnapping – Pulgasari <laughs> We've had entries that had crimes take place during them or because the films themselves were crimes. But in this case, crimes were committed in order for it to be made. Sounding itself like the plot to an action thriller, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il abducted South Korean filmmaker Shing Sang-ok and his estranged wife, actress Choi Eun-hee, in 1978 and imprisoned them with the goal of having them make films for him, which they eventually reluctantly did. Before their escape in 1986, the pair made several films, including Pulgasari, which was influenced by Godzilla movies. <laughs> Number 2. Intimidation – Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song This seminal black exploitation movie broke roles all over. Let sleeping dogs rest, can you dig it, baby? <laughs> Because they were filming outside a union, the crew members were armed, and several of them threatened extras who wanted to leave early. Additionally, one of these real firearms was mixed in with the prop guns, which endangered those on set. Even the soundtrack is sketchy. It was done by Earth, Wind & Fire, but the check they were paid with bounced and was never made right. Lastly, the director slash star's son performed in the film against labor laws and appeared in a sex scene, and appeared in an assault scene, which, despite being mimed, could still constitute abuse. Number 1. Child Labor – Twilight Zone – The Movie Hey, you, you want to see something really scary? You bet. Really? Yeah. It's infamous for a reason. While making his portion of The Twilight Zone, director John Landis hired two child actors under the table, breaking child labor laws, and opted not to tell any safety officials of their presence on set. But that's nothing compared to what happened to them. A scene involving a helicopter went horribly wrong when an explosive caused the chopper to crash, killing both children and actor Vic Morrow, as well as injuring the helicopter's passengers. If there's any consolation to this tragic event, it's that it led to more stringent safety procedures that likely prevented more such incidents from occurring. So you had a big scare up there, huh? Oh, yeah. Want to see something really scary? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.